Okay, what I want to talk about is fermentation or fermented foods. So, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about kefir, or kefir, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So, fermented foods makes it easier to digest food. It also contains probiotics. So, probiotics, you need millions of these, and the more variety of probiotics you have in your body, the better. What I wouldn't suggest is the ones that you can buy over the counter, or as in, you know, I'm not going to name the brand, but you know those little tiny pots that you can get, that you think that taste really good and are good for you? Well, they contain about three teaspoons of sugar per little pot, and it's liquid glucose sugar. It's actually crap for you. So anyway, I got this from, uh, I can't remember the name of the place that I got it from, anyway, uh, it's, you can get, I think it's like um, Irish Nutrition or something like that, I, I'll, I'll link the description below, and I wasn't paid to say any of this either, I just uh, think it's really good for you, and they taste really good as well, uh, you can make a water kefir or a milk kefir, and it doesn't have to be dairy either, if you have any sort of food tolerance, it can help reverse this, so, this, I think this is like, it's a starter culture, but it, it may be, I think you can do about seven, seven goals of this, maybe. It's really easy to make at home. All you have to do, let's say if you want to do it for milk, uh, pour the sachet into um, the given amount of milk, let's say 500 mils, and uh, leave it out of the fridge, and it should take maybe 24 to 48 hours. Now, if you don't like buttermilk, then... I probably wouldn't go for this but the longer you leave it the better it gets and then it can turn to like a yogurt texture uh, consistency but you can make it with milk or you can make it with water as well so you need fructose in it so what you need to do is uh, because this culture feeds on fructose so let's say uh, put in the water then put in if you put in table sugar it contains uh, fructose and glucose so you could do that and just because you put sugar in it it doesn't mean anything because this gobbles it up and that's what this feeds on so uh, you could put in fruit you could put in whatever fruit that you like to eat um, and a tea bag so then you have let's say a lemon and ginger tea bag with actual lemons and berries start using these in the winter months actually use them whenever you want incorporate these into your diet your immune system will be better your energy levels will be better and you can just basically be healthier so that's it from today's tip tuesday and i will see you next week oh how are you getting on with the uh, couch to 5k you're into the third week i think now um so if you if you don't know what I'm on about, I'll link the description below uh, about the Couch to 5K program that's on my website um, on scullytherapyclinic.com. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week then.